Are your GLP-1 shots leaving itchy bumps or bruises? Well, if so, stay tuned and listen, but don't panic. So I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but also a GLP-1 advocate. So I spend a lot of time helping people get access to GLP-1s that can't get them through traditional insurance. So if that's you, there's some links over here in my bio that hopefully can help you out. So let's talk about injection site reactions, why they happen, how common they are, and what you can do to prevent it. So first off, you're not alone. Injection site reactions happen with anywhere between five and 15% of all GLP-1 users, depending on the medication. So reactions can vary, but they can be anywhere from itching, redness, swelling, or even like a little whelp. Now, some people even report a very small bruise, totally normal. So why does this happen? So your body actually sees the medication that you're injecting and also the needle as a foreign substance. And it sends a little inflammation to the area to help check it out. Sometimes if you're injecting the medication when it's super cold, it can make these reactions a little bit more common. So make sure that you're not doing it cold. Also, if you're injecting into the same site over and over, then it can cause a little repeat injection irritation. So in clinical trials, semaglutide users reported less injection site reactions than terzepatide users. Now, severe reactions like infection or abscess were extremely rare. Only about 1% of the time did that ever happen in clinical trials. Now, the good news is, is that most of the time this is mild, it goes away within 24 to 48 hours and doesn't actually mean that you're allergic to the medication. Okay, so here's how we're gonna make this better. Number one, rotate your injection sites. So switch between your abdomen, your back of your arm and your upper thigh. Make sure you're not injecting within two inches of your belly button. Try to inject your medication once it gets closer to room temperature. So take it out of the fridge and let it set for 15 to 30 minutes before doing an injection. Before injecting, you always wanna cleanse your skin with alcohol, but make sure you're letting it dry completely first before doing the injection. If not, you're gonna risk trapping alcohol underneath the skin and making the skin more irritated. When you're doing your injections, if you have a auto injector, you really can't uh, determine how fast you're gonna inject it because it does it for you. But if you're doing it with an insulin needle, you can inject it slow or fast. So we wanna do the injection a little bit on the slow side and kind of steady to keep from irritating the tissue. Lastly, we don't really wanna aggressively rub the area after we inject. You can put some very light pressure on the area for about 10 seconds afterward if you need to, but no aggressive massage of the area. But if you ever notice severe redness, irritation, or signs that the area is spreading, then you need to talk to your provider right away. So just remember injection site reactions can be very normal. They usually get better with time and they don't mean that you're actually allergic to the medication. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you follow me for more.